and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ness and I like to talk about books. Today I have the newest edition of the adult fantasy book subscription. In this video I'm going to be looking at this book in depth and then we are going to compare this book to another book box edition that I got more recently. You'll have fair warning though if you don't want to see the Illumicrate edition of this. So if you haven't had that box yet and you don't want to be spoiled, don't worry. I have been so excited for this edition just to see what Fairy Loot do with it in comparison to Illumicrate. I've always had this feeling that I'm gonna like the Illumicrate one more, just with the connections to the author that they have, what they've done for the author in the past, I just, you know, was like, yeah, I can't see Fairy Loot doing much for this book, especially because the idol subscription has been so disappointing for me lately. If this has black sprayed edges, I'm gonna throw hands. But genuinely, I can't see this book not having black edges. This edition better be special, or else I might actually cancel my adult subscription because I've not been impressed so far. But you can watch my other videos if you want to see me rant about that. Don't know why they give us these, it means nothing. The theme is arcane history. What is the point? <sighs> Every time, all over the floor, a mess. We may be forgiven though, depending on what else comes because this book makes sense being black. Maybe some of the other ones didn't. <gasps> it's, it's pretty decent, it, it's pretty okay. So on the front we have a colour change. Fairly typical for the Isle Books box subscription, but I love that they've made it grey because then it just really brings out that this is like a pencil art design. I do like the front, I like that they've changed this to gold, it's definitely different to what else is out there for Babel. Hi, it's me from the future. I just wanted to interject a little bit more into the commentary of this video and the discussion of this edition. I've sat with this edition in my hands just staring at this for a good 20 minutes. If you are going to criticise Fairy Loot for doing a yet another dark to light colour change in their adult box, you are 100% right and that is worthy criticism. There has been far too many editions in this subscription which are dark to light colour changes with black sprayed edges. But I think it looks great on this edition. Some of the other editions that they've done that to probably needed to be stepped up and they needed more creativity in them ones. Dark to light, like City of Dusk. Even the Atlas 6. There seems to be a little bit of a lack of creativity going on. You don't see this theme in the young adult boxes. The young adult books are always relatively different. On a shelf they look completely different. There is too much repetitive in this one. Um, that's just my little extra input into this video. Right, back to the usual timeline. It's when we get to the edge, which is the masterpiece, the standout in this, I think. That is just impeccable. 10 out of 10. I am genuinely so impressed. Now it is a little bit wonky, which is usually my gripe with putting things like this on the side of a book, especially where the design is like straight up as well. It looks wonky, but I think, you know, it's not that bad. I'm really, 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 really impressed with this. <sighs> the end papers. The end papers. The end papers. Oh my god. I'm trying to do this without looking at like the front because I just want to be, you know, I want to savour this. Look at that. That is stunning. And like this gold that like stands out, that is, God, fairy loot. And on the back as well, oh my God. I was genuinely not expecting this to be that good. Like this is their young adult book quality. I just wish every book in the adult subscription was this good because we've had some super disappointing editions in the adult box. See if there's anything on the hardcover. I'm done. Oh my god. This is my favourite edition. This is hands down my favourite edition of Babel. We have the uninterrupted design on the hardback. On the front and the back, this is what I was expecting from Illumicrate. This is what I thought Illumicrate were going to bring out. This is stunning. Absolutely perfection. It is perfect. I... This is a masterpiece. This is my favourite 
edition of any special edition that a big box has given me. I feel sick. Imagine if I cancelled my subscription and this came out. Imagine the tears. Oh my goodness, oh my god. All right, okay, right, let's have a look inside. So this book is pen signed by the author. I'm noticing straight away some differences on the inside. There may be some extra pages on the Illumicrate edition. If you don't know what Babel is about by any chance, Babel is a standalone dark academia novel by the author of The Poppy Wall, which is a book that I've read and enjoyed, but I haven't read book two and three. I just can't bring myself to because I know I'm going to get my heart broken. The main character is a young Chinese boy who is orphaned and ends up in England to study at the school of the Royal Translation, the Royal Institute of Translation at Oxford University. And what this book does is it explores the use of language translation as an act of colonialism. Although I am a fan of this author and I think that from what I've read of The Poppy War, this has the chance and the potential to be amazing. And on my Lumicry video, a lot of the arc readers commented on my video saying that they read it and it was five stars. I'm a bit nervous because it does compare this book to the Jonathan Strange book and also the secret history. The Jonathan Strange book was the worst book that I've ever read. So it makes me a little bit nervous about whether I will like this or not, whether I like the tone. I think it's not a book to read when you're looking for a light read. This is your turn off, look away from the screen, warning if you don't want to be spoiled for the Illumicrate edition of Babel. So please exit this video. Do not continue to watch. This is your absolute five second warning that you are going to be spoiled. Right, okay. Let's do the comparison. So for the Faraday edition, we have a colour change, which I think actually really suits the book. And we have this absolutely stunning naked design. And this is really like the spectacle of this book. When we come to the Illumicrate one, we have this design. And I actually made a comment in my Illumicrate video that it was nice to actually see the uninterrupted design of Babel on the cover. And I thought that this was going to make it really special and unique and I was really happy to have an edition that gave me this without any text on. But then this comes along and this was what I wanted from a Lumicrate. This is what I expected. When we actually open this slip case, this is when the design for me falls a little bit apart. I do enjoy this. I think that that's a nice choice for a Lumicrate, but I just can't still get away with this map design on the actual cover. I think as a book in your hands, this is just much more impressive. The end papers, you know, this marbling, although it looks really nice and it suits the theme of dark academia and it makes it feel like old, I still, you know, there is no comparison to me that these end papers aren't just absolutely more stunning. They're both pen signed, but what I'm noticing on the inside then is that this letter, which we knew was, you know, it says Illumicrate readers, so that is absolutely Illumicrate edition. This part inside, the new Scholar's Handbook, this is all not in the Fairy Loot edition. So this is specifically for this edition or maybe another special edition. But all it really says is, you know, a glossary of terms and a welcome to the School of Translation. So it's not that much of a loss. Preferably what I want to do, and this is what, this is what happened the last time, I had a fairly and a Lumicrate box the same. I wanted to change the cover, take the cover off one book and put it around another edition's book. I have the same problem with this one where I just want to take this slip case and just, you know, do this. Like to me, this is the ultimate Babel book. Yes, no, I think I might just do this and I think this might be the edition of Babel that I like I read and I annotate because let's be real there is no way that I can actually sell this without the slipcase because the slipcase is is what the edition is about but I actually just think that this is the you can't improve on perfection <laughs> so if I have an edition that I want to read I think I'm gonna make it this one I am honestly so impressed with Fairy Loot. I think the only thing that this edition is really lacking from, which wasn't on the Illumicrate edition, but it would have been a nice edition, would be maybe a gold or silver ribbon bookmark. My favourite, my absolute favourite, I'm so impressed, so, so impressed, 
This has given me a lot of faith for the Fairloot adult subscription as well. Knowing that they can do editions like this just makes me annoyed that they can't do this every time. I don't know. Which one is your favourite? Please let me know in the comments. I absolutely have to know. I'm actually going to be like use the comments as a poll. For me, it's hands down, it's the Fairy Loot Edition. The Illumicrate Edition now, I, even though it's special with the slipcase and everything, I I don't know. If I had to save one of them from a burning building, it would be the Fairy Loot one. And I can't believe I'm saying that. That to me is such a shock. This and the Atlas 6 are the type of books that I was expecting from an adult subscription from Fairy Loot. The rest of the picks have been really disappointing, really let down and I know that there's some books coming out which they're not planning to do which would have been perfect in their subscription like Dowry of Blood. I was really really hoping that we'd get that but it looks like we're not going to. The thing that's the biggest let down for me with the subscription is just the picks, that's just not what I was expecting. It's a lot of contemporary fantasy. But anyway, I've got my subscription for September. We'll see what happens and we'll take it from there, I guess. But thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know which one of these you prefer in the comments and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. That was such a good... So good.